first of all, um, give us your reflections on the season so far. Okay, uh, we start uh, okay, uh, not so good, not so bad. We can improve. We, we had like a long way to improve, and I think uh, after the change of manager, we took like a, a better form. We are doing like uh, we are doing well. I think. Uh, obviously, when you change the manager, uh, something that no one no one uh, want. You have uh, you need a bit of time, a bit of uh, work to adapt a little bit in the way that the new manager want to play. So I think we are we are on, we are on that. But uh, at the same time, it's important to 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 keep uh, uh, winning games and keep uh, taking points because uh, you need it uh, during during this process. No. And uh, Mark, for you, obviously, the change came. It didn't take. It wouldn't have taken you much time to yeah, adapt. Is a. Well, for me and for the team, the first is like surprise because never imagined this. But I think uh, with the change, the the players like uh, working more and the results arrive, and and I think this is very important for the club. And I'm very happy because I stay with with this manager and with with his teammates in in Brighton, and I'm very happy there. And and for me, is is a, a good. Is he the same Graham Potter that you had at Brighton? Yeah, and no, no, it's the same. The Graham and he is, is like the same, uh, the same, the same idea, the same, the same energy to to work to to improve to to the team. And I think this this is a good a good a good idea or a good sign. And because in Brighton we we play so well, we we have a good results for the Brighton. It's not like the same, but I think if we work hard and and we we stay together, we have a a good season. The same Graham Potter, just a little bit smarter, a little bit more suave. I don't know. I cannot say too much, but I think uh, he's just five weeks here, so he will be like uh, knowing each other, knowing uh, the training ground, and being like more more him. So it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can judge. He definitely looks smarter than when I used to see him at Brighton. This is smart. The smart hair, the polo necks. No, the now a little bit yeah. more pretty, no? More pretty. <laughs> I'm not sure he'll take pretty as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, no, now with the track suits and this for the TV. <laughs> and for you, when he came in, he said oh, everybody gets a fresh start. And him arriving has been a complete turnaround for you especially. Yeah. Tell us about the conversations he'd had. He, he's very good with people and... You obviously liked what you heard from him. He liked what he heard from you. Yeah, of course. I I, I start playing like in the last games of uh, Thomas, but when he came in, uh, I, I keep playing, and I think I was waiting like uh, this chance, let's say like this, because I was like working long time to to get this opportunity to to step in in the pitch. And show what uh, what I have inside. No, so I am really happy. I'm really happy uh, because his confidence, because how I am feeling like in the pitch uh, with ball, without the ball. Uh, so, is I think it's really really positive for the for the team and for me also. You talk about how you're feeling now. I mean, probably so different from a year, eighteen months ago. Yeah. You join this big big money deal goes through and then you find yourself not playing week in week out how did you cope with that and, and did you always believe that you'd get there yeah i think it's i arrived here <laughs> yes and they play Literally better for me <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it, we'll, we'll talk about the sort of spanish spine in a moment spanish mafia is that what it is so you had a word with graham and graham then started you is that how it works <laughs> <Thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. No, I think I think it's uh, like in life a little bit. Uh, when I came here, I play all the games. The first two years, uh, nearly 100 games in in two years. Then I had like 18 months or nearly two years where I where I played like less. And it's that moment when you have to when you have to believe in yourself, like uh, take the good way. Keep working in silence when you, when you are not playing. It's not 
it's not easy and and believe believe and then when you have the opportunity take it it's, it's not easy i had like a not good moment mm. but but it's it's the life no is you have to you have to keep to keep uh, working yeah and having you joke but having somebody to speak to when things aren't so good or for you to settle in and there are a few others, aren't there? Yeah, I think, I think we are uh, very close. Uh, we are a, a few Spanish guys here. Did you know each other before? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we know each other. We, we had not like a relationship like, uh, like now, but we know. And I think it's, uh, we are uh, support for each other uh, with Azpi, with uh, a couple of more physios, Spanish guys. When, when we have like a free time, we are, we are together. Doing what? Ah, uh, just talk. Yeah, talk. talk is in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hanging out. And, and for you, made it easier. You, again, yeah, big money move, yeah. people were surprised, and maybe difficult few weeks where you've not been well and in and out of the side. So having somebody else to talk to. And just yeah, to of course, understand. because it's more confident for me when I stay with, with this, speak with the Spanish, I'm more relaxed and I'm more enjoy because with the English people, or when I need, when I speak in English, it's good for me. But I need um, like Express intention to to working and thinking a lot. And after with the Spanish, it's like more more fun, more relaxed. And I think this is good because we stay together a lot of time. We travel a lot, and these moments are, are funny. So you are the Spanish mafia. Is that the official word? I'm the, the boss. You're the boss. How did you let the new boy be the time, boss? In short time, he's always talking. He's always talking so yeah. we, we let him be the boss. Yeah. <laughs> and the ambitions then for this season, I, I think people, you're sort of going about your business, maybe slightly under the radar, but winning a lot of kind of plaudits from performances, particularly sort of early on this week. What, what are the hopes in, in the, amongst the squad? Yeah, I think... Um, this season is uh, quite different because the World Cup is in the middle, and I think like it will be like two seasons in in one. So I think we are arriving to the last games, in the, to the first season, and we are there. We are with uh, chances in in all the competitions. Of course, we have to, we have like a way to improve because we have to take the ideas of the new manager. We have to complement everything a little bit more. But uh, I think now we have time to work a little bit more, to train everybody together and, and be ready uh, for, for December. And what about the World Cup? Looking forward let's to it? See, let's see, let's see. I think uh, uh, the squad of Spain will be like one of the last ones in 11 of November. So it's, it's amazing, you know, uh, being the World Cup. World Cup is like the biggest competitions that you can play with a national team and everybody wants to be there. Yeah, goes for both of you. How do you think Spain will do with or without you both? I Maybe think it's, with you. it's question for, for, <laughs> for the coach, you know, so we are, we are doing like uh, as best as we can. We are doing our best and then uh, the coach have to, have to decide, so let's be ready. And if not, you'll be fans. Will you be watching? How weird to think it's such a normally busy period around December time. Yeah, it would be different. It would be like something different. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it's going everything. Let's see. But uh, it's, it's, it's new for everybody. 